Hey everybody, how are you? Hola mi gente, what's up, que bola? It is Wednesday, February 23rd, 2022. We're gonna be doing a card of the day, a focus of intention. This is not a reading. A reading is an intimate discussion between you and a spiritual advisor of your choice, hopefully led by your intuition. As I always say, your intuition is your superpower. Everyone's born with intuition, not everyone listens to it, as you can see the state of the world. Please remember that the Almighty Pineapple LLC is trademarked, copyrighted, and registered in three different classifications with the United States Patent and Trademark Office. Any duplication of my content without my permission is subject to legal recourse is guided by my legal team. Thank you again for everyone who purchased items for the pre-ordered schedule sale yesterday. The seven different mojo envelopes and the three different pendants that I have to offer. I make those on hand. The sale will be listed up until the 28th of last of next week, the last day of February. After that, they will be taken off and they will not be for sale again until March unless other things get in that way. Um, I am also preparing to uh, be initiated in palo mayombe later on in the next three to four months and do my crowning in santeria um at the end of this year uh winter time and with that being said i am i did make an amazon wish list of my year in white my iya waraje um and i did explain that on my instagram stories and also on my members platform i am the altar on the private facebook group that i have um the one thing about being a part of the facebook group is that you get access to me seven days a week we do an accountability post each each week we also do the weekly reading and the forecast you're included into all the community rituals you're invited to all the community readings as part of your membership and again you get to vent you get to share you get to discuss you get to ponder and you have a a group of people of like minded like spirit we're all going through stuff i've used that platform several times to vent and express my frustration my excitement my my fears in that space as well so we're all there as a community i feel that we do a lot of work together in a community and for those members they always get the perks and they always get the you know the down low of what's going to happen so I had five spots available for the Love Thyself package. One of the members took it, so I only have four spots available for the Love Thyself package. Again, a part of the perk, you know, of that membership. Um, the Love Thyself package is a 12-week program where I work with you one-on-one -on -one for three months to establish and to begin the stages of the most important relationship you'll ever have, which is the relationship of self-loving yourself. It's no, it's no recordings, it's no modules, it's none of that. It really isn't. It's live, one-on-one, -on -one, 12 weeks. You work with me every week. I try to make it every week the same day, the same time frame. That way there is a consistency. And it's not just meeting and talking. There are services that I'm providing. If you add all the 12 services individually, it's over $6,000. And you're getting this for a total price of $3,300, pay in full, and payment plan of $3,700. So again, Please consider, please follow your intuition working with any spiritual advisor, even that means you do not work with me. I'm really excited today as well. I get to meet one of my youngest clients. They are nine years old and I get to see them today as well. And I do handle children and adolescents as well, of course, with the guardian's permission. And I do services as well for children. So if you're interested in having some assistance for a sibling, for a child, a grandchild, I'd be more than happy to do a reading or have a consultation or a mentoring session and talking to them. I'm more than willing to do that at any time. As also, I always provide tons of services. My books for March are now open as well. And I am doing in-person sessions um, such as in-person home visits and I can travel, but if it's excessive past the travel range that I've listed, then it's gonna be a little bit more money. I am in the South Jersey area, I can provide Provide services in the tri-state area probably without having additional travel and lodging I could probably do that within a day but if it's too far out there are additional fees for that as well like house blessings business blessings those things but again my books are open for regular services and I usually do my events like weddings baptisms funerals last rites um, I try to do those on the spot when I can, but usually I need at least four weeks in advance to see if I'm able to do it. I usually only do weddings and like in-person sessions like at home visits or a business blessing or house blessing on the weekends only. That's the, the biggest time that I have. I really, I'm pre-booked about three months in advance, even though I don't give my calendar out to the public as often as I like, um, but I do have clients that are pre-booked three to four months in advance because again, of the Love Thyself package. And then there's group coaching programs. Again, um, connecting to the Claire's, which will be coming back in um, April. And that is where um, I will do like a free webinar like I did before. 
and there we go. Um, and I will do like a webinar before that, a free webinar to tell you what it's about. It's about learning about your spiritual and psychic abilities and it's a six week program. And then after that, that's going to be in April and I probably will be starting the spiritually abundant course, which I'm teaching now, which is a 12 week program. Again, three months, um, where I work with you, you know, in a group format every week. And I teach you how to change your life to be more abundant, not just in the material realm but also energetically that's why i call it spiritually abundant right um because it's about your spirit whether you believe in spirituality or not it's about enhancing your spirit we do talk about spirituality but we talk a lot about energy and science so it's a combination of the two plus i teach you spell work i teach you magic work i teach you rituals i teach you baths i teach you you know some concoctions to do in your home so i do give you that as well so that's really exciting so let's get to the card of the day this is coming from the prism oracle guidebook and the card of the day is called disruption and let's see what disruption has to say i like this card because disruption is not always a bad thing i know i know sometimes you guys are like what disruption it says like this shocking pink color this card demands attention it represents intensity innovation and non-conformity it's a catalyst for releasing fear in order to make bold and courageous moves what is stagnant in your life that needs to be changed how can you shake things up a bit how can you continuously innovate your life in unexpected and productive ways so right then and there spirit is saying stop Stop settling. Ooh, stop settling. I just felt that in my spirit. Like literally, gratitude and abundance, right? I'm grateful for this word. I'm grateful for this this card. I'm grateful for the word disruption. I keep hearing no settling. Stop settling. It's not okay to be treated in a specific way. It's not okay to be to be settling on, on what you desire to be different just because nobody else can understand what it is that you're seeing for yourself your visions your hopes your dreams your outlooks your opinions that's okay it's not meant for them it's only meant for you so stop settling say no to what you don't feel right for you allow yourself to be free with your voice again as long as you're honest with yourself and honest with everybody else and you're not hurting yourself that's okay other people should be able to understand and appreciate what you have to say but it's not what you say i just heard this it's not what you say to people, it's how you're saying it. So sometimes it's your delivery on the way you're expressing yourself that might cause the friction, that might cause some chaos. But again, disruption might cause some chaos. But as I always say, chaos is a resorting of elements. But I hope that helped. I hope I put some things in perspective and I hope I made you feel better. Again, I'm always at your service. That's what I do for a living. Thank you for fucking with me. Thank you for being here. If you like to work with me, Please follow your intuition working with any spiritual advisor, even if that means you don't, don't work with me. Again, I love y'all and I'll see y'all later. Thanks for being here.